someone on here recommended that I try making some food while medicated. So we're gonna try it today. Before we get into cooking in the kitchen, we're gonna try a little medicated treat. This particular dispo had a lot of different options for edibles. So I thought, let's give it a go. So yeah, let's try it. Even just their chocolate selection, they had so many different flavors. The one that I went with was the hazelnut milk chocolate bar. It's like still in the mold. It's not fucking focusing. All right, oh, whatever. They always say to start low and go slow. So maybe not the whole thing at once. The taste isn't too strong, like plants. All right, I'm gonna wait until I'm baked and then we'll start baking. Get all of our ingredients together. Shout out Publix for the dough. I don't usually use this brand of sauce, but we're going to try it. The little mozzarella pearls. I have a specific vision for this pizza. Basel, of course. And then these guys. It's important that they are multicolored like this. All right, I think I'm ready to try it. To make the pizza, I think. <laughs> Maybe eating the whole chocolate bar was not the move. I just personally love pizza and I saw this one pizza on TikTok that I really wanted to replicate. First thing we have to flour our dough and shape it. My mom called, she's like, I know you're at the house. Do you want me to get you any food? Or one pizza? And I'm like, you don't know that I make pizza. <laughs> Not only am I high, I'm also Italian. So I feel like this is very appropriate. So I've made pizza before, but have I ever made a heart-shaped pizza? No. But you know what? Today's a great day to try it for the very first time ever. Is it not? I think it's a great day. I was thinking earlier, that. I was like, do you think they have one of those like breaking things places here? Like, you know, you know those like, I think they're, I think they're called like rage rooms. Like you go in and you break stuff. They give you like PPE and you just smash things. Like I saw it on Vanderpump Rules years ago. I don't know that we have that here, but we should. I think I've never actually wanted to do that until today. But this comes close. Oh my gosh. And I'm at my mom's and she's a lovely lady. She really is. However, <laughs> she's like me. It's just, there's always something. <laughs> like I told her, she's like, you want a pizza? I was like, no, I'm making a pizza. She was like, you're making a pizza? And I was like, Yes! And she was like, you mean the oven's on? And I was like, yeah. She's like, it's so hot. The house is gonna be so hot. Like, I'm sorry, mom. Actually, this is looking pretty heart-shaped. I wonder how that TikToker made her heart-shaped pizza because hers looked more heart-shaped than mine does. It really did. It looked a lot more heart-shaped. I could use a knife maybe to score the the heart dimple, if you will. Let's see. I think it's I think it's really gonna be very cute. I think it's gonna be nice. So just have to shape it just so. And because now I'm in a hurry. Like I'm scared that she's gonna be like, it's been on too long. The oven's been on. Okay, well, it's looking pretty heart-shaped. It's gonna look cute. I think it's gonna be great. I just need to pinch that, do that, and then. <laughs> I think it's looking great. I think this is perfect. It really is. I am not going to go on a date with anyone anytime soon, but if I were to have a date night with someone, I think this would be a really great option. Like, like I said, the concept was a date night pizza, but we're going to call this a self-love and acceptance pizza today. One genius idea that I saw that this girl did on TikTok was that she used muffin tins to have all her toppings in there, but I'm not doing that. Right there.
And these are so cute. Why are they so cute? assume that it's not going to look this pretty after it's cooked. Now I'm thinking about what if I wanted to make an infused pizza one day? How would I do that? To make an infused pizza, what I think I would do, I would make either a can of butter or a canna infused olive oil. And I would brush the butter or oil onto the crust before baking. I think that would work. It might not be a very strong infusion, but if you used enough of the butter or oil, I think you could get a pretty good kick out of that as far as the amount of milligrams of THC in the pizza, right? I wonder how other people have done it. Maybe you could infuse, could you infuse the sauce? Maybe if the sauce had oil in it though, but the sauce is very water-based, so how would that work? Is there like some kind of topping that would be infused too? <sighs> like, could, you could use vaped weed as a topping. You could do that. Could you make infused cheese? Is that a thing? Like, there's gotta be a way to make that. I've never made cheese though, I don't think. <laughs> that's, that's like, that's more advanced, I think, than anything I've ever gotten into culinary arts wise, I think. Like at that point, we're talking, I don't even know how you do that, cultured cheese, but people make kombucha, people make yogurt, like people make these things. There's gotta be a way to make cheese, a cheese that's infused. I feel like I've heard of that too. I feel like I have. I'm almost certain I've heard of infused cheese. I've just never eaten it or made it but it's never too late to start. When your mom used to work in a bar, so she would end up with these giant, huge bottles of fake liquor. This is actually a kind of cute vase. My brother saw me filming with my phone and he said, you just use your phone to make videos? And I was like, yes. I used to use cameras every time, but I don't know, there's, it, there's always some issue, at least, my DSLR, my DSLR is just so old and it's been through so much that I don't think that is really an option for video. And then my vlog camera also has issues even though it's not very old at all. It's maybe four years old and it's just not the best. This is why we don't go outside of brands we trust. Like I will probably never buy a camera again that's not a Nikon. Dude, I just looked at the pizza. The pizza is not looking... Uh <laughs> I mean, if you break down what a pizza is, like it's dough, it's sauce, it's cheese. You can't really go wrong, right? Because it's just, how do you go wrong with that? It's pizza, regardless of how it looks. It just is what it is. But I'm looking at the pizza now and I'm looking at what it looked like before it went in the oven and there is a disconnect, okay? It's not the same. Which I'm not surprised that it doesn't look the same as it did before it went in the oven, but I was not expecting it to look like this. What I'm gonna ask you to do is mentally prepare yourself to see what this pizza looks like now. All right, just just check it out. <laughs> it's a little on the thick side, maybe. Just a bit. I, I think what happened, it was in transit for a while, which you're supposed to, you're supposed to let it rise for an hour before putting it in, <laughs> before putting it in the oven. I think it rose for probably two hours. So maybe that's kind of what happened. I'm reassembling, <laughs> reassembling the tomato flowers here. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's okay. <laughs> How is this a pizza? By any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> Somewhere an Italian is rolling in their grave because this is just simply not, this is not. <laughs> I don't even know what to say, really. But I, am I gonna eat it still? Yes. This is what happens when the pizza chef gets a little too hot. <laughs> but 
I'm honestly excited to taste it. Okay, it's definitely going to need a little help. Like Post Malone had some help. Um, it's going to need at least Parmesan, I'm thinking. I'm going to look for some oregano, I'm thinking. We already put the basil leaves, but we could use ground, I mean, dried basil also. Where are her spices? Wow, the amount of wine glasses and shot glasses. Oh my god. <laughs> that was actually just one of the wine glass cabinets. There's more. Oh, found the spices. Okay, so, oh, this could be good. Just, just standard Italian seasoning. Yes, definitely. We definitely need this. This, for me, no pizza is complete without this. Oh wait, yes. Yes. Wait, crushed red pepper? Oh, that is red pepper flakes. It's the same thing. It's a cutter, but we'll make it work. I think it should be cool enough. Let's... <laughs> Here we go. Here goes nothing. I'm kind of I'm kind of sad about cutting it up because it's so cute. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, let's do it. Gotta try. Gotta taste test it at some point, right? I'm going to go for this part here, I think. Please be cooked. Oh. <laughs> I hope it's cooked. Food. Let's find out. Oh, my mom is home. Oh, shit. She's going to see this and be like, what did you do? <laughs> oh, boy. Let's see her reaction. Hello. Hi. You ready to see my monstrosity of a pizza? Yes, I moved it. <laughs> yes. So how did she know how to do this? That's easy. The moment of truth. Mm. Mostly just tastes like dough. <laughs> She's still got it's another a pizza. pizza. <laughs> it's a makeup pizza for the really? veil pizza. Really? The pizza was decent, but in any event, my mom got a pizza on the way home. So we're definitely good on pizza for today. What should my next recipe be? I thought about doing Mary Me Chicken earlier, and then I had a little dessert munchy idea. So let me know in the comments what you think I should cook next, and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>